Hello students, welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. I am your teacher, Mr. Stanley Ombogo. So uh, this is another session of uh, the Neighborhood Watch, dear students, by Remy Ngamidze. So earlier uh, we uh, looked at, that is, uh, the introduction uh, of the story by looking at uh, some background information about Remy Ngamidze. We also, uh, you know, looked at the relevance of the title. Uh, that is given to the story that is the neighborhood watch uh, we also looked at the the plot summary so in this session uh, dear students uh, let us look at some of the thematic concerns that we have in uh, the story so uh, talking about the thematic concerns allow me start by uh, you know uh, uh, talking about that is uh, classism or inequality or what sometimes we can call division of class we can also call it uh, social stratification etc etc so when we talk about uh, classism or inequality uh, in the story the neighborhood words classism is a prominent theme that is highlighted through the descriptions of the various neighborhood so the neighborhood of katutura hakahana uh, uh, that is Goriangab, uh, Wanahenda, and Okuriangava are described as poor areas with slim pickings in terms of finding usable items in the garbage bins. That is by the uh, by the characters uh, who are from the the community. That is the neighborhood. Words. So the characters of uh, that is uh, Elias and Lazarus share their knowledge of how to survive in these areas but they also acknowledge that there is limited opportunity for success in these areas so they note that poor people's beans are uh, 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 that is a slim pickings and that you cannot survive by being around people who are also trying to survive so according to elias uh, 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 according to elias he uh, uh, argues that it is so hard to to uh, to like find a life it is so hard to survive where uh, other people are also surviving and that is why they do what they move on to wealthier neighborhoods like Coma, uh, Comasdal and Dorado Park which they acknowledge as being too crowded with other people trying to uh, survive and the opportunities for success in these areas are are limited so uh they note they note that the neighborhoods are already spoken for and that all the places that break the wind have long-term tenants and all the generous churches already have their squabbling regulars so the characters then turn to the neighborhoods of avis clean wind heck and arrows which they describe as the best areas uh to uh that is to look for recyclable items as the people in these areas recycle and sort their trash so they note that the paper cardboard plastic bottles tin cans and aluminium foil are sorted into separate plastic bags some people even wash the trash before they throw it away through these descriptions the story highlights the division of class that exists in the city. So with the wealthy areas having more opportunities for success and the poor areas having limited opportunities. So the characters' uh, experiences and observations in these different neighborhoods further underscore the theme of uh, classism and the impact it has on uh, people's lives. So. By splitting the city of Windhek geographically into different neighborhoods, Gamiji is able to use a place as a marker of inequalities and class differences that exist among them, among the people. So the content of rubbish bins in the different neighborhoods shows the differences between the rich and the poor. The first suburb to be visited by the crew is a, a, a was bleak. It is described as a nice place since the people there still know how to throw away 
things, meaning that they have some, they throw away some things that the crew still consider resourceful and valuable. So the neighborhood watch is assured of scoring good things, such as broken toasters, blenders, kettles, water bottles, Teflon pots or pans, scrub draw screen television, card boxes, and maybe some food. So this shows the people who live here are well up and live comfortable lives. So the suburbs of the poor, such as uh, Katutura, Akahana, uh, uh, Georiangab, Wanahenda, and Okuriangava are also described. So using the flashback of the cruise Tuesday and Thursday visits to these poor suburbs, Gaminya brings out the living conditions of the poor based on the content of their bins. So one day, Elias and Lazarus found a baby wrapped in some newspapers thrown into a big bin. So this encounter made them smart and move away from poor people. They decided that on Tuesday and Thursday nights, they would stop going to poor people's places because poor people had nothing left to throw away but, but themselves. <laughs> So, uh, Comastal is closely related to the poor people's uh, suburbs. It is, however, a drinking den. So, the neighborhood watch never enters Comastal since it is crowded with other starving uh, and droving cliques. So, it is also in the same neighborhood where a character by the name Amos was killed. So, these lowly suburbs are contrasted to the suburbs of the wealthy, such as Avi's Clan. Windhek and arrows. So Avis has complex apartments that brings a fresh crop of bins to the interlocked pavements. So uh, though made up of rich people, Klein Windhek portrays some meanness as they only put up their bins at the crack of dawn to dissuade the dustbin divers from perambulating through their streets. So Eros is the best suburb for the neighborhood watch due to the presence of Mrs. Uh, Bezudenhout. Uh, so who is, uh, I mean, who waits for the crew? Uh, so she always waits for the crew and give them some, uh, some gifts. So uh, this shows the wealthy nature of the old lady, the people living in this neighborhood and Mrs. Bezudenhout's generosity. So. The next uh, thematic concern, dear students, is uh, that is the theme of survival. So uh, it is the main theme of the story. Uh, so uh, the struggle for survival on the streets is all we see uh, when looking at the characters, that is Elias, Lazarus, Martin, Silas, Omagano, and Amos, as they all strive to survive by scavenging for food and shelter in the neighborhoods. So uh, we are told that they uh, uh, the, the, the neighborhood uh, that is the neighborhood watch crew uh, have to fight off hunger, cold, and danger from gangs and the and the police, and that's why they take care of themselves. So it is also this uh, uh, the issue of pride. So we are told that pride is another important theme that runs throughout the story. So the characters are often faced with the choice of accepting help or maintaining their pride. For example, Amos uh, died because of his pride, refusing to apologize for his actions. So similarly, a character by the name Martin uh, suggests that people who refuse to scavenge for food and shelter are too proud to be like, to be like them. So uh, there is also the theme of generosity. So uh, when uh, Illustrating uh, this theme, uh, we uh, draw a close reference to the old lady, that is Mrs. Bezudenhot. So we are told that Mrs. Uh, Bezudenhot's generosity is an important theme in the story. So she is the only person who is willing to help the characters, and her generosity is contrasted with the pride of the other characters uh, who we also have in the story. So Mrs. Uh, Bezudenhart's generosity is portrayed as a source of hope and inspiration for the uh, for the characters. So 
We can also uh, talk about uh, that is a friendship and uh, community. So the theme of friendship and community uh, uh, also play an important role in the story. So uh, we are told that the characters form a community and support each other. That is both emotionally and practically. So they look out for each other and help each other to survive uh, in the streets. That still takes us to the major thematic concern that is a uh, struggle for struggle for survival. So uh, we also have hope and hopelessness. So uh, the characters have to uh, contend with the constant struggle for survival and their future seems uncertain. So at times they express hope that things will get better. However, they are often met with disappointments and hopelessness. So Elias and Lazarus are warning to Martin, maybe is tomorrow uh, Vadi. Lazarus says, and there is only today. So that highlights the theme of, uh, you know, hopelessness according to the response that, uh, you know, uh, Lazarus, Laza uh, Lazarus gives. So uh, poverty is also uh, one theme that arises from the story and it, uh, its effects on individuals and community. That is the effects of poverty on in individuals and what? And communities. So the characters in the story, uh, such as the, the uh, neighborhood watch crew, the members of the neighborhood watch crew, are all struggling to survive on the streets and often have to resort to scavenging for food and shelter. So the story also highlights the harsh realities of living in poverty, such as uh, being at risk of violence and exploitation, uh, and also the constant uh, struggle to make ends meet. So uh, there is also uh, another issue that arises that is community and solidarity. So the characters in the story form a neighborhood watch to survive together, sharing resources and helping each other out. So the story also highlights the importance of generosity and kindness in the face of uh, poverty, such as the character of Mrs. Uh, Bezudenhot, who is described as uh, giving the main characters, that is the members of the neighborhood watch crew, food, clothes, and uh, other necessities. So uh, there is also another issue uh, that uh, we must also talk about, that is uh, crime and crime and violence. So the neighborhood watch uh, must safely hide their valuable items. That is the valuable items that they're able to find. They must safely hide them uh, at the headquarters to prevent theft. So a uh, hidden stash is cons considered safe uh, since they are a feared group. So they have a fierce reputation. So. Uh, Lazarus is considered the lieutenant of the group and one of its pillars due to his, uh, uh, due to his, uh, that is, uh, his uh, knowledge uh, on the, his knowledge on the streets. So uh, sometimes it is said that uh, in the streets, uh, sometimes, you know, some violent acts are involved for one to survive. So violence is seen to be a necessary survival skill uh, in the streets. Violence is a, uh, a skill uh, for survival in the streets. So again, the death of Amos after knife stabs also shows the level of violence faced in the streets. So the knife slashed, uh, that is uh, according to uh, how it is described in the story. Uh, so uh, the writer vividly describes the scene by saying that the knife flashed quickly in, out, in, out, and then slashed across, Amos fell. So uh, that describes the manner in which uh, Amos, you know, met uh, his death. So Silas, uh, who's also one of the crew members, engages in some crime. So he's said to have had a habit of discovering things that have had previous owners. So Silas steals. If he gets caught while stealing, he might be beaten or arrested. And remember, uh, in the streets, there is uh, the mob, uh, th that is justice by the mob, mob justice. So 
so the, uh, the other members of the uh, you know of the neighborhood watch crew are afraid that uh, maybe sometimes sailors might be might be beaten and uh, it will lead to it will lead to very bad events so we also have the issue of secret struggles that is the neighborhood watch has to struggle to ensure that the valuables are safely hidden to prevent theft so that is after splashing water on their faces we are told that the empty can is stashed away with other valuables in a hook under the concrete uh, abutment of the bridge so they also uh, have to protect their territory the bridge underside the precious real estate so to achieve this uh, we are told that uh, some abbreviations are sprayed uh, onto the bridge columns which communicate that that is a marked territory so the abbreviations nw for the neighborhood watch are sprayed onto the bridge column to uh, tell the other gangs that uh, the area is uh, the, the the territory belongs to belongs to others so uh, they must also struggle to camouflage and appear like any ordinary person that is while roaming the streets to evade uh, the police they have to look presentable uh, that's why omagano struggles to straighten her kinky hair using her fingers so they also have to wear their best clothes one of their greatest challenges is how to disguise their foul smell so the writer notes uh, but smelling bad is something they try to avoid as much as possible since a smelly man is despised everywhere so uh, there is also uh, the issue that is also recurring that is struggle to get food so the crew relies on waste food and leftovers to survive so it is said that elias knows most <coughs> city hotels kitchen staff who leave the group some decaying produce or some leftovers when they feel kind uh, from the previous night so uh, the struggle to get food forces them to use dubious means such as having omagano satisfy the sexual needs of guards who deny them access to bins that might contain high yields so the lunch that the group shares show that getting enough food for a meal is a real struggle for them so the food uh, uh, they share uh, for lunch that is a half a loaf of uh, brown bread some salty uh, mashed potatoes sometimes or soft grapes and and some water and that is all they they get to feed on uh, uh, as the whole group so uh, they also heavily rely on mrs uh, bezudenhot's generosity as she also gives them canned food such as beans and peas uh, or sometimes fruits and other valuable items so we can also talk about uh, you know struggle with the poor health conditions that is uh, we are told elias has a racking cough that worsens each day it is so severe that sometimes there is blood in the gunk from his chest but he waves everyone's concerns away so uh, they also struggle with poor health conditions in the streets they are unable to uh, get some health services so we also have got the uh, the issue of uh, desperation so we are told that life in the streets is filled with moments of uh, desperation so when uh, uh, when elias and lazarus met they would desperately flick through every bin they could find in every suburb they could reach so as the writer tells us that is a uh, reminga major they had no room to be choosy uh, and they were indiscriminate and desperate and always and always hungry so uh, elias shares these experiences with other crew members and tells them when we started when you have uh, uh, that is uh, when we started when you have to uh, that is uh, when we started we were not picky so we had to survive uh, you don't get to choose what what you have to do you don't get to choose what you have to uh, so we further see that the crew's desperation to get food and survive makes them use any possible means omagan is a precious survival tool for the group in such desperate times so this especially happens where the beans in some areas are fenced off and guarded by guards who threaten to beat the crew if they trespass 
So the guards have to be bribed to let the crew scavenge in these bins. So when the crew has money, Elias will pay the guards. However, when the crew has no money and needs to get food, Omagano is their only way out. So she goes behind a dumpster with a guard and does what needs to be done in order to get food. So uh, thanks for watching uh, till the end, dear students, and always keep it easy, Limo. Until next time, bye.